What's up guys, Tony here with iTech Check, and today we're going to be taking a look at another Wi-Fi camera. This one's made by Heimvision. Now, who can't use a good Wi-Fi camera for their home? Whether it be for security, or if you just need to check up on your pet, um, a loved one, or your child. These have a multitude of different uses, um, and I'm trying to give everybody a variety of different um, Wi-Fi cameras to choose from and these are uh, seems to be pretty good. They come with a lot of features This one in particular um, has night vision has two-way audio Intelligent tracking it has support for a LAN connection in case you want to use wired uh, support for AP hotspot connection intelligent motion and sound detection, which is really nice uh, you can watch your videos right from your web browser on your computer or your phone. Uh, it also has support for a micro SD card and cloud service. I, I can't stress that enough how much I love the option to have either local storage or cloud storage. So this also is 1080p. It can support up to 128 gig micro SD card. It has a 110 degree field of view. It can pan around your room 355 degrees. It can tilt up and down 55 degrees. It has a four times digital zoom. It has about a 50 foot range for your IR distance and it uses uh, five volts, 1.5 amps. And then as for the micro SD card slot, uh, just gently uh, rotate the camera up as far as it'll go. And then at the bottom, you'll see the little reset button and the micro SD card slot. So let's go ahead and unbox this and see what you get inside. All right, so here we have our manual. We have our camera. Show you that in a minute. We have our accessories. That's it for the box. I'm assuming this is for mounting. Comes with a Ethernet cable, nice and flat, in case you want to put it against your wall. Here's your power adapter and your power cable. This is a micro USB and is about six foot three inches long. Here is a mount in case you want to mount it on the wall, which is a nice feature. So you can either stand it on your desk or mount it up on your ceiling, your wall, whichever you want, and some mounting screws. Let's take a look at this camera here. It's nice and light. And that's where that little plastic mount went. In case you want to mount it upside down. Here's your speaker. That's where your ethernet cable goes and your micro USB for power. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is go get your phone. So we're going to be using an iPhone to set this up right now. So what you do is you go to your camera. So we have our camera here and we're going to show it over the iOS QR code. And as you can see, it takes you right to the app in the App Store. I'm gonna go ahead and install that. Okay, so now once you have the app, you're going to want to sign up. So you go ahead and sign up, uh, and then once you're all signed up, you're gonna put in your email address. So then once you log in, you're gonna to wanna to connect the power to your camera. It'll go through its little setup process. Okay, so once you've logged into your app, what you're gonna to wanna to do is press the plus button up here. You're going to choose the intelligent camera. We're going to add it by scanning the QR code. So we'll press on that. So then you're gonna follow these instructions here.
once you've completed all the steps, you're going to go ahead and click down here, connect to the network, and So it's just letting you know that it's all ready to be paired up. So keep in mind that you cannot connect this to a 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi signal. So just make sure that you connect to your uh, 2.4 gigahertz signal on your phone. Okay, so I'm all signed into my 2.4 gigahertz network. Now I'm going to hold this in front of the camera so it can complete the setup process. You'll hear a beep, then you click on the little button here. Okay, so we heard the beep. Please wait for Wi-Fi connecting. Please wait for internet connecting. Internet connected. Welcome to use cloud camera. Okay, so it's all set up. You can name um, where you'd like your camera to be. We'll just say it's in the living room right now. And we'll start. So that completes the setup process. Okay, so here we are inside the app. We'll go over the bottom section here. So here you have your device, which is your camera right away. You have your messages, which you can get once you subscribe to the um, Plus Recording Service Plan. So let's see, hit subscribe. As you can see, uh, you get uh, 7 days 24 hour record time for $6.99 or 30 days 24 hour record time for uh, 200 per year. That's for the cloud recording. And then if we go for the, the cloud service here, it looks like they give you a 3 day recording time, a continuous recording for 24 hours, and that's for uh, free. So I'm going to go ahead and take that. As you can see, it's good for uh, this month through uh, next month. So you get a, a free month trial of their cloud uh, recording service. And then if you go down to mine, this is like your profile. You can clear your cache. Uh, you have help and feedback and about. Here's a little tool so you can connect to the camera via AP. It also has your cloud album um, and your local album all in one. This is where you can check all your pictures and videos and such. And as you can see um, below your camera here, you have your cloud service, your sharing, your settings. And you can turn the camera off and on. So we'll just hit that. Uh, you turn the camera off. And if you want to turn it back on again, you just press the bar button. Okay, so we'll go into the settings. So here you have the name of the camera, your time, uh, the device is on. You can also schedule your device to turn off and on when you want. Add a schedule. If you're a cloud service, um, you can share the device to your family so they can watch uh, the videos and pictures that you've taken. Uh, SD card status, normal. You can format your SD card. Right now I have an 8 gig SD card in there. Uh, video mode, you can have it either record on events or just record normally. Uh, play video videos from my SD card or if you have a cloud service, you can select that too. You have your notification settings down here. You can have uh, sound and motion events. I have those both set to on. You can pick what you want to receive. You'll want to receive all notifications or just a little uh, notification every minute or so. Here's a little video I took to show you how quickly the notifications get sent to your phone once the camera detects motion or sound. You can schedule the notifications in case you know you want to schedule them, schedule to get the notifications only during the day. And you can turn on and off your phone notifications. Here I have uh, HD video on. You can also have a buzzer go off when it notices motion. Uh, you have the camera has a microphone, so you can either uh, 
opt to have the sound recorded as well as the video. Intelligent tracking is really cool. So if the camera detects any sort of motion whatsoever, it will follow uh, any motion that it sees. And once it doesn't detect any more motion, it returns back to its original position. Night vision, you can set it on, off, or auto. And as you can see, it doesn't have any issues tracking even at night. The camera does also switch fairly quickly from day mode to night mode and vice versa. It takes about three seconds for it to adjust, which is pretty quick. Rotate the video in case you want to mount this upside down on the ceiling. Uh, there's your Wi-Fi network. You can also reboot the device and remove the device from here. So here we're going to take a look at the main body of the app. This is where you're going to do all the controlling uh, of the camera. Down at the bottom here we see our messages. This is where all of the videos that are captured uh, by sound or motion are going to be um, from your cloud storage. As you can see, there's ones that have like a little sound signal and then ones have like a little guy walking. Uh, the blue icon is the sound notifications and the little man walking is the motion activated notifications. Here you can change the quality of your picture from HD to standard definition just in case your, your network can't handle you know, HD. Here in the middle you're going to see the little microphone. If you want to talk, you just hold down on the microphone and talk into it and you can uh, talk to whoever's on the other side of the camera, whether it be someone you don't want there or a loved one or you know your pet or whatever. Release it and it stops recording your voice. Okay, so here's a little test of what it sounds like with me talking into my cell phone and the sound coming out of the camera. So this is what it sounds like recording my voice through the camera's mic. Here you can turn the sound on and off in case uh, you want to hear what's going on on the other end of the camera. If we click more, you can record video or you can go to your cl cloud album. So then if we look a, a little bit higher, uh, we come to the joystick of the camera, and here we can you know, move the camera around uh, left and right, up and down. There's just a very slight uh, delay, not huge. But as you can see it, it moves the camera around pretty nicely. And then as you can see on the left hand side of the joystick, there's like this recycle button. That's to uh, reset the position of the camera back to the way that it was when you first got it. Uh, on the right, you'll see like a little crosshair. You click that and it'll take you to your presets. So I have two presets already made. Um, one is, you know, says basement. So if I click on that, it'll take me to a preset location that I had the camera looking uh, as well as the stairs. If you want to go right to the stairs, you click your preset and it'll take you right to where you have, you know, that set. If you want to set it, you put the camera in a place where you want it to be looking. You'll hit your add presets. You're going to name the name of it. We'll just name this one test and then save. It's that simple. So we'll go back to the basement preset. And then we'll go back to this one test preset that I just set. And it takes you right back to where you had it set up in the first place. So that's pretty convenient. So we'll X out of there. Um, here, if you want to play videos that you were, you had uh, events taken place or were recorded, this is you just simply scroll through here and then all the blue lines will show you exactly where um, the events were. You stop on, you know, which one you want to watch and it takes you right to that particular event. Very convenient, very easy. And you don't have to, you know, wonder what time things happened. It, it shows you that nice blue line. So then we go back to live play. Click on live play. It'll take you right back to your live view. Here we have, uh, you can take a picture. And then when you want to go into landscape mode, you can either hit this four arrow off to the right or just kind of rotate your screen and then you get a nice big view 
uh, of what your camera sees. You can turn your volume, you know, the sound off and on from here. You can also take a picture and you can zoom in to pretty much whatever you want to look at. It has a four time zoom. Quality is not that bad. Uh, it looks the best, of course, when it's not zoomed in, but you know, if you need to zoom in on somebody on something, um, you can definitely see what you're looking at. So you can also watch your, uh, you know, events on here too. And go back to live. And I'll go back out and rotate. And that's pretty much it um, for the app. Very easy to use. Very user friendly. And it just seems to work pretty well. Here's also some video clips that I took uh, directly recorded from the camera. This one's of my basement, all lit up. And this recording is of my backyard with it sitting in the window with some sunlight coming in. All in all, the camera quality is very good, especially for the price. During the day, this camera has absolutely no problem seeing through glass, but while at night, using the infrared light, uh, it has trouble because it reflects the infrared light back into the lens, and that's not just with this camera, it's any camera that uses infrared uh, that you have behind glass. Here's a little sample of an event that the camera captured of me walking by in total darkness. As you can see, it starts recording the moment it sees movement and keeps recording until that movement is gone. And then here's a good example of how good the quality is uh, at night using the IR illumination. My living room is uh, fairly big and it seems to do a pretty good job of illuminating a large area of that living room. for everybody that was looking to use this camera for, say, security reasons, and you wanted to use the infrared lighting to see outside, if you put the camera behind glass and use the uh, infrared lighting, all it does is reflect that light back into the camera because it's so good, it's so powerful. So the best option would be for you to turn off the infrared and use an outside light to illuminate whatever you'd like to see. And then as you can see, the camera has absolutely no trouble seeing what's outside. Another really great feature is you never have to worry about, uh, did my camera go offline? Is it recording what's going on? Because if it goes offline, it loses connection, it will send you a notification and if it loses connectivity with your network, it will keep recording events onto the local storage. So it's been about a week now that I've been able to use this and this has a lot of good things going for it. Um, like I said, I love the fact that you can have cloud storage and local storage um, either way because if you know it loses connection to your network and you have that SD card in here, it will continue to capture you know, events uh, locally on your SD card. And it's really easy to look at your videos. You could just take out the SD card, put it in your computer, and they're in uh, MP4 format, so you can pretty much watch them on, on, on any um, device. But just make sure before you take out the SD card to 
uh, shut down your camera because you don't want to corrupt your SD card. And like I said before, whether you're using this for security purposes or to, you know, to just keep an eye on your pet or maybe your child, um, it's going to work out really well for either one. It's got that two-way communication. The audio is definitely good enough to uh, have a conversation with whoever's on the other end of the camera, whether it be, you know, somebody you like or, you know, somebody uh, that you don't want in your home. And if you choose to use it to, you know, watch over maybe your, your child, uh, it does pick up on those sounds. So if it hears anything, it will definitely send you a notification to your phone right away. All in all, my experience with this is has been really good. The best feature by far that I enjoyed the most had to be the intelligent tracking. You don't ever have to worry about, you know, looking on your phone, seeing that there was something that happened and it be like all the way off to the corner of the camera. You know, you could barely see, you know, what happened because you weren't around to, you know, physically move the camera from your app. This tracks any movement that it sees and it, it kind of keeps it in the center so you have a nice view of, you know, what's going on. Uh, the only thing is, is if you use that and this is by a window and they're, you know, the light fluctuations from the sun will cause this to kind of move a lot. So, you know, if you have your intelligent tracking on and you have this near, you know, somewhere where there's, you know, a window or something, that fluctuation in light will cause this to, you know, track over to where it sees that light fluctuation and, you know, record that as an event. That's, you know, it's not necessarily a bad thing. It's just, you know, if you have your notifications or something, uh, it might, you know, annoy you a little bit. But you can always turn those notifications on and off as well as the intelligent tracking. So if you don't want to use either one of those, you can just turn those off. So if you guys are looking to pick up a good Wi-Fi camera that's got a ton of features for a great price, this is one you're going to want to take a look at. So I will be putting a link in my video description in case you guys want to check this out. And if you like me and you want to support my channel, please use that link because it definitely helps me keep making videos for you guys. So. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that little notification bell to let you know when I put out new videos. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Later.